So to get started on this really cute beach maxi skirt, what we're going to do is grab our category three yarn, make a slip knot, grab our four millimeter hook, and we're first going to make a chain that is long enough to fit around the widest part of your hips. And I'm going to give you guys forewarning, I am not going to be making actual size on camera, that's actually off camera somewhere. But I'm only doing it this way because it's going to be exactly the same no matter uh, what size you guys need. Like we don't need to do any increases or decreases or anything like that. I'm basically just going to show you guys the pattern. So once when you have whatever chain length you guys need, all we're going to do is run our thumb along one side of the chain. Just making sure that's all facing one direction. Then once when we've done that, we're going to insert our hook into that first chain that we made with a slip stitch. And then once we get here, all we're going to do is chain up one. And then from here, we're just going to be putting one single crochet into every single loop that we have. So once we made it all the way around with single crochet, all we're going to do is connect into this first loop that we have with a slip stitch. And then next, you're going to want to figure out how long you want your border to be. And mine is actually going to be two inches. So I'm going to make a chain going up of two inches. And then once we have our chain, what I'm going to do is block off that chain that we just made. I'm going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. We're going to prepare for a double crochet and we're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the fourth loop from the hook. And we're going to go ahead and put one double crochet into every loop that we have going back down our chain. So once we double crocheted all the way down our chain, what we're going to do from here is count out two loops that's on our base. So we're going to count out one, two. We're going to insert our hook into that second loop with a slip stitch. And then from here, we're going to slip stitch going up the next two loops. And that's how we work our way up to the next row. And then from here, we're going to flip our work, prepare for a double crochet, and then we're going to put one double crochet into every loop that we have, but we're only going to be going in through the back loop. So what we're going to do is prepare for a double crochet, go into the back loop of this first double crochet that we have. And then we're going to keep doing this all the way down. Once we reach the end, we're going to chain up three, flip our work, and then we're going to continue doing back loop double crochets until we reach the base. Once we reach the base, we're going to count up two loops, we're going to slip stitch into that second loop and then we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops in order to work our way up to the next row. And then we're going to do more double crochet into the back loops going all the way down. And I'll meet you back once we're ready to connect. So we've made it all the way around and this actually isn't going to happen to everyone, but I actually just have one single crochet left instead of two to go into. And in case if this does happen to you, all we're going to do is do one row of back loop single crochets so that we can keep up with the ridging, but also so that we don't miss out on this one loop. So what we're going to do is insert our hook with a slip stitch just into our next one, flip our work. And then from here, all I'm going to do and what some of you are going to do is just do back loop single crochets. And then once we get here, we don't have any more loops in between our first set of double crochet and our last. So now we can go ahead and start connecting. So all we're going to do, it doesn't really matter which way we fold it over because it's ridging on both sides, but I'm just going to fold it over in the easiest way to do this. So from here, we're just going to insert our hook into that corner loop. And then once we have that, we're going to be working into the outside loops. So all that is, is the panel that is closest to us. We're going to be working into this front loop. And then we're going to be working into the back loops into the second panel that we have. And we're doing it this way so that we can keep up with the ridging on the other side. I'll just show you guys what that looks like once we're done doing this. But we're just going to keep doing outside loop single crochets until we get to the end. And then since I'm going back into the base where we did our single crochet, I'm going to cut and tie. But if you guys are going the opposite way, going up this way, you guys don't have to cut and tie because we're just going to do one more row of single crochet along the top. So now that we have our waistband all finished, as you guys can see, we have our seam on one side. We're just going to flip it over so that you guys can take a look at it. And then this is what we just made. We just made our own ridging just so that we can match the rest of the ridging for the band of it. And then from here, we're just going to be doing one more row of single crochet going all the way across. So we're going to insert a hook into any one of these loops. It doesn't matter which one. And since we're working into a bunch of side double crochets, what we're going to do is chain up one. And then into the first side double crochet that we have, we're just going to be putting two single crochets. And then we're going to do that all the way around. Once we reach all the way around, we are going to connect with a slip stitch. But don't cut and tie because we're just going to automatically go straight into working into our skirt. So we've made it all the way around our band with single crochets and then all we're going to do from here is start working on the main skirt design. So from here, we're going to automatically chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. We're going to prepare for a double crochet and then we're going to go into that next loop with a double crochet. And then from here, we're going to chain one, 
prepare for double crochet. Now we're going to start working on our shell. So we're going to count out four loops. One, two, three. Insert your hook into that fourth and we're going to do our shell. And our shell is three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, all in the same loop. So I just did three double crochet into that fourth loop that we counted out. From here, we're going to chain up three, and then we're going to do three more double crochet into that same loop. And then that is our first shell. Once we have that, we're gonna chain out one, prepare for a double crochet. We're gonna count out four loops again. One, two, three, four. Insert your hook into that fourth loop with a double crochet. And we're gonna be putting three double crochet into the next three loops, but no increases, just one into the next three. Just like that. From here, chain one, and then we're gonna do another shell. So one more time, prepare for a double crochet. Count out four loops, one, two, three, four. And then do a shell, which is three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, all into the same loop. And then once we have that, we're gonna count out four loops, and then we're going to put a double crochet into that fourth loop, followed by two more double crochet into the next two loops, so three double crochet in total. And that is going to be the pattern for pretty much the entirety of the skirt, but definitely for this next row. But once we get to the end, I'm gonna show you how to connect it because we did start with only two double crochets. We're gonna end on a double crochet as well. So I made it all the way around with our first row of our shell double crochet design, whatever we're gonna call it, I'm not sure. But what we're gonna do from here is prepare for a double crochet. And since we have these two double crochets that we first started off with, and the first one is a chain three, but it does count as a double crochet, all we're gonna do is insert our third double crochet right next to it. And then from here, we're going to slip stitch into that chain three. So we're gonna count up one, two, three, insert your hook into that third with a slip stitch. And then that's how we finish off every single row until we reach our slit. But once we get here, all we're gonna do is chain up three. This always counts as a double crochet in this piece. Prepare for a double crochet, put one double crochet into the next double crochet that we have. And this basically starts off the same way that the first row starts off. So we have our two double crochet, and then we're gonna go around with our shell and triple double crochet pattern. And then once we reach the end, we're gonna put one double crochet right next to it, and then we'll be able to close off this pattern. But really quickly, just to show you guys how to do the rest of it, what we're gonna do is chain up one, prepare for a double crochet, and then we're gonna be doing our shell into this shell gap that we have. So three double crochet, chain three into this shell gap. And then once we have that shell, we're going to chain one and then put three double crochet on top of these double crochet loops that we have. And then you guys guessed it, chain one, put a shell into this shell gap, and we're gonna keep doing this until you guys actually want to start the slit of the skirt. I'm gonna keep going until this gets mid thigh, but I'll meet you back once we have that, and then that will be real size, and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. So this is what we have once when we have the main portion of the skirt done, and this is where I want the slit to start. So from this first single crochet row that we did down to where we currently have our work is 10 inches on me. This is a little bit above mid-thigh, and I went ahead and also marked off where I want the front panel of the skirt to be. So on one side, I have my hook, and then I went ahead and measured out, see where I wanted the other side of the skirt to end. If you guys just want this to be a single slit skirt, then go ahead and just keep going all the way around, and then I'll show you guys how to do the split. It'll be the same no matter what. But from here, all we're gonna do is just do the pattern that we have until we get to our marker. And really quickly, where I put the next marker, I actually put it in between this set of three double crochet that I have, because we're not gonna be doing the three double crochet, we're just gonna be doing two. And then that's gonna make it easier for us to split and do the other half. So from here, we're going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. Prepare for a double crochet. We're gonna put one double crochet into the next loop, chain one. And we're gonna keep doing our pattern of shell, chain one, three double crochet, chain one, shell, until we get to our stitch marker on the other side. So we just finished up doing our first little bit that we have for our front panel. And as you guys can see over here, I didn't go in with three double crochet on this side. We only did two, and then this is going to help us split and do the back half, like I said. But once we get here, we're going to chain up three so that we can work our way up to the next row. Flip our work. And then from here, we're gonna prepare for a double crochet, put one double crochet into that next loop that we have. And from here, chain one, and then we're gonna do shells. And then we're going to continue doing the same pattern right on top of each other, going back and forth until you get the length that you want. This can be a maxi skirt or this can be a short skirt, whatever you guys want. 
but this front panel and the back panel are pretty much going to be the same but i'll show you guys how to make sure that we have a decent split once when we get to it but go ahead and make this front panel as long as you want it to be so i just got done doing the front panel and let me just show you from the top single crochet row that we have going all the way down hold on still going all the way down to the bottom i have a total of 37 inches and then just from where we started it so right here down to the bottom i have 27 inches but this is going to be different depending on how tall you are i don't know how tall i am so i can't help you guys out with that but i'm actually going to show you guys how to do the back half now so all we're going to do we're going to take out our stitch marker if you haven't already and then we're just going to insert our hook into that same loop that our stitch marker was in or into the same loop that our last double crochet was in that first row of the front panel that we did and then this part is pretty much going to be the same thing as the front panel all we're going to do is insert our yarn chain up three this counts as a double crochet we're going to prepare for a double crochet and double crochet into that next loop and then continue on with the rest of your back panel which is exactly the same like i said once we reach the end it's going to be the same way that we started so we're going to have our shell here and then we're going to put one double crochet into this loop and then we're going to finish off with putting a double crochet into the same loop and we're just making sure to put the same double crochet into the same loop that we have right here just so that it can split nicely so that our slit is nice and even and then we're just going to continue to do this until we have the same length or same amount of rows that we have in the front so go ahead turn on some tv have at it and i'll see you guys back once when we're done with all of this and this is what we have once when we have finished the entire back of the dress this is the front panel that i have and let's just flip this over really quick it is the same measurement as the front panel just a little bit thicker i do have some ends to weave in so if you see those don't mind those and don't mind my hair and this is it one full day later and we are done and then one of the last things that we have to do other than just weaving in our ends is actually just making a drawstring strap so that it can go in and out of all of these double crochets that we have so we're just going to go ahead and make a regular chain that can fit around your waist and my chain is going to be about 50 inches and once when we have made our chain we're actually just going to weave it in i'm just going to grab my tapestry needle or you guys can use your hook your fingers a bobby pin whatever you guys have and we're just going to eyeball and see where the middle is and my middle is actually right where this row of shells are because this is the middle of the front panel that I have. As you guys can see, this is the front panel and I have shell, double crochet, shell, double crochet, shell. So I'm just gonna follow this row of shell all the way up. And then I'm just gonna insert my hook. And I'm going to weaving my, not my hook, I'm sorry, my needle. I'm a mess. But I'm just gonna be inserting my needle in and out of every two rows of double crochet, just like this. And pulling through and then I'm going to do this around the entirety of our band and then I'll meet you back once we have that done and then once we've added in our drawstring the last thing that we have to do is weave in all of our ends so this is our beach maxi dress with a slit all finished up this was a request that we got on Instagram and I am super duper excited about this you guys have no idea this skirt is definitely reminding me of Kita from Atlantis the Lost Empire the Disney movie and that is beyond perfect we love fulfilling your requests so if you guys have any more please leave them in the comments or go ahead and message me on Instagram at tcdDIY and if you love this piece just as much as I do or more go ahead and give it a thumbs up it's right beneath the video it lets YouTube and I know that you're enjoying the videos and it goes a long way to helping the channel grow and gain some traction. But if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, but also leave me a comment letting me know why you didn't like it. Or if you have any questions, requests, or if you just want to say hi, go ahead and leave a comment down there too. I usually reply pretty quick. If you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, it's right beneath the video. It'll let you know when there's a new video uploaded to the channel, get you a bit more priority for requests, and it goes a long way with helping the channel grow so we can keep making great videos for you guys. If you're already subscribed, huge thanks to you guys, but go ahead and hit that notification bell to know when there's a new upload for you right away. And please share with your crafty friends, every bit helps. Links to the yarn and the hooks will be in the description if you guys buy something using those links that also goes towards helping out the channel. Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there as well. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.